Globally, an increasing number of people live in promising but also vulnerable delta areas. This vulnerability is highlighted further by rising sea levels, subsiding soil, extreme river flows, and an increasing demand on living space and the environment. Apparently, subsoil is the main cause for concern in construction and redevelopment projects in these delta areas. Management of the associated risks plays a central role in the activities of the Dutch Research Institute, Deltaris. To enable financing and insurance of large construction projects, tests are necessary in order to chart all the risks involved and subsequently control them. These tests must be carried out to scale since the size and costs of a full-scale test cannot be justified on budgetary grounds. Moreover, a full-scale test, in which consolidation of the soft subsoil plays a role, is often too time-consuming. Using the Deltaris geocentrifuge, problems such as scale, costs, and time are eliminated. In the geocentrifuge, the actual pressure in the subsoil is simulated and mechanisms such as consolidation, which normally manifest themselves over time, become visible within a short period. Moreover, thanks to the geocentrifuge, costs are reduced to a minimum since the simulation tests are carried out to scale. We can now carry out a series of relatively inexpensive tests to substantiate the repeatability and the result. We can illustrate the workings of the geocentrifuge based on three examples. For the Incheon Bridge, which will connect the airport in South Korea to the mainland, Delteris carried out a test which tested the strength of the protection around the pillars to withstand collusions. Since it concerns a huge project with so-called dolphins measuring 40 meters in height and 30 meters in diameter, into which large container ships could collide, the test was executed on a scale of 1 to 200 at 200 times the gravity. In this test, a miniature ship's bow of 18 kilograms simulated a large container ship with an apparent weight of 3,600 kilograms and a collision speed of 11 kilometers per hour, whereupon it crashed into a dolphin. The precision work involved in simulating the diaphragm wall thickness and placing the construction on the seabed together with the execution of the entire investigation of 26 crash tests in seven weeks was an enormous achievement in which Deltaris is justly proud. The second example is the Ike Dike. To gain more insight into the behavior of soil in and under dikes that are on the verge of collapse, a reconstruction was made of a dike in Groningen. This dike was saturated with water in a controlled manner while the pressure on top was increased until the dike gave way similar to a high water situation in the Netherlands. This so-called Ike Dike test was performed both full-scale and two-scale. During the full-scale test, emphasis was placed on measuring and recording movement and water and soil pressure in the subsoil before and during the dike breach. Because it is possible to model the same pressure under a model dike as under the actual dike, a similar test was performed to scale beforehand in the geocentrifuge. These tests gave prior insight into potential breaching mechanisms that could occur in the Ike Dike full scale test. The third example concerns the dragging of sea anchors. Many cables and pipes lie on and under the beds of the seas and oceans. Large offshore constructions and busy seaways are often situated in these same regions. These offshore constructions are kept in place using large anchors, and sea ships use their anchors to maintain their position. In extreme circumstances, such as hurricanes, the holding power of these anchors is exceeded, causing them to move through the subsoil. These so-called dragging anchors cause damage to the cables and pipes lying on or just under the seabed. Deltaris conducted an investigation to gain more insight into the bearing behavior of anchors. Such tests are actually very expensive and in most cases cannot be executed in similar conditions. 
In this investigation, a model offshore anchor was dragged over a long distance through both sand and clay in a centrifuge setup. These results will lead to a new design model to reduce the risks of damage from dragging anchors. In summary, the advantages of tests with the geocentrifuge are cost reducing through working to scale, time saving through gravity simulation, better result analysis through repeatability, visual attendance of the test is possible through video registration, combination testing of different soils and materials. The Deltaris geocentrifuge is a large, commercially usable test centrifuge. With its arm of 5.5 meters, its test container of 2 cubic meters, a maximum acceleration of 300 g, and a team of experienced and competent test engineers, this geocentrifuge can perform virtually any test in the field of soil structures and soil structure interaction in an economically responsible way. The geocentrifuge contributes to the mission of Deltares, namely the development, dissemination, and application of knowledge for the sustainable establishment and management of Delta areas. Essential to this is the collaboration with national, international, and provincial authorities, water boards and municipalities, scientific institutions, and market participants. Deltaris, enabling Delta life. For more information, please contact geocentrifuge at deltaris.nl.